I am Ellie Tretenu, or my intro life, I live in my country, South Africa, in a secret fairy village underneath the savannah without the chance to travel elsewhere since our family couldn't afford it. I got it from my bed and took half a shower. I wore my uniform and looked into the mirror to observe myself after I washed my face. I then rubbed my face and had my breakfast before I had enough warm to brush my teeth. To go to school, I had my wings on my back and not reveal my free identity to dismiss myself as a head man. I arrived at school from the school bus and felt the sign of adrenaline kicking in from every step I took closer to the school. My backup was heavy, but I didn't comply. I was introduced by one of the teachers and was told to go to a random class I never expected to go to. My class was all week as I entered to for the register finish. The whole class stared at me as I said hello and then turned to class. There were barely any freaking male students like me and all the number of other entities outside of mine. Anyways, I found an empty seat and then sat there all by myself. And I turned to my right. I saw the beautiful girl. I thought they were still 13. At that time, the girl on my left was a green apron who wore a denim jacket. The other girl on my right was a tan brunette with short, crazy hair. As the register comes in, and I found out that the bunny on the left was named Sasha Lee Bright and the brunette on the right was an... I had no idea what was and that was since I didn't have a school time to also listen to the teacher and waited for my thumb to ask what's a bit. That was when the teacher finally stuck confidently raised my head. Miss, what's a big are we learning right now? I suppose the girls were glaring at me and held onto their jalap at me. A ginger girl with hobble braids giggled. How many caterpillar head doesn't know what subject we are learning? What a shame. She ranted from the front as left, says a smirk, and then turned back to the teacher before reading. I had this ape and personal desire to show off my fire powers and burn her right before the next of it starts. But I like that I was supposed to hide my free magic. I took a deep breath and then looked at my secondary sitting on my desk as I cleared my mind and then looked at me in my worm. Don't worry, just ignore her and everything will be fine. Oh, you're a new student. What's your name? I showed my hand getting ready to shake hands with her and I didn't want to be called by my birth name. That old very should hold me from so I decided to let him a name that my parents gave me yesterday. My name is Stephanie. Thanks, Lord, and you're in like what the teacher's register said I You're right. My name is Anne. Anne Boon Choi. I replied, I told her about my catch and then realized that I was the oldest in the class. As we committed our conversation about ourselves, a short hair girl by me over her us and was more energetic than how I was on the inside when I arrived here. So you're here, huh? Always wanted to see a boy in this class? She cheered. I asked about her and she said that her name is Margie. This middle school friendship thing was accelerating faster than the one in my mentor life, but I kept it up and we also went with it to the the teacher yelled to me as she tried to write the sentence on the board. We whispered to each other and said, We're lucky when we were chosen as two pairs of partners. Margie ended up working with Sasha and ended up working with me. When I listened to her, I ended up plotting into dreamland with my imagination and couldn't resist how attractive a nice girl in my class could become and remark to myself about what I felt about her with the most simple words possible. Hey, World to Stefan, are you listening? And snap, I shook my head to bring myself really and then explaining to- I wrote down a plan in bullet points to finish this essay that we have to write according to our teacher. I agree with everything she said because I didn't see the problem with working with someone that I wanted to be close with after I find a stay essay about the order of your topic comes to and his ideas. I find it first before Marchi and the other students did. I read my say answer confidently without any grammar or verbal mistake. But the teacher listened to Marchi's essay and she did the best answer written. It was a surprise because she started out being clumsier than my when he was my So far and never suspected the fact that I came from a secret fairy village. The girls managed to get along with me and I felt like I would fall for my dream about living with them and growing up together when we were old enough until I went home and wanted to convince my parents that the class I was chosen to get was a fact they wanted me to move school. But on the other hand, they knew that this was my first day and I didn't even receive my first exam there. So they decided to let me stay there until high school, which is when I'll become 15 years old. On the bright side, they let me be friends with any regardless of manner since they learned how to be more modern since they know I was never a rebel, but at least I was still appreciated. The next day, I walked to my school as early as in Marchi. I hid as I found that gender break girl again and was introducing her snack from her family's country to that girl and the break girl snatched it from her and left and without it. Suddenly, that's a fan man and the fan it in from that girl, but in a begging way, knowing that she never liked to find enemies in the first place. I watched the whole scene without interfering because I know that I should give him the chance to interact more with her friends. 
I'm not saying that she needs to replace me with a bunch of other students, but because I want to care for her without being forced falls, and I presumably wouldn't want a pipe for a pipe for and presumably wouldn't want a plain looking one like me since I would never forget that that guy's some straight girl's girl for strong nose. I don't do anything like my dad, but I do other sports that need a team such as playing basketball or tennis, but with flying. After that school day, I did all my homework and I checked my calendar to see if there are other special announcements, but I'm glad that there weren't. So I had enough time to draw some personal drawings of infants. I was home alone, I threw on as a cotton female with it while Lisa how I felt. I saw her with those beautiful monies and curly brown hair with floors on top. I also bring her with me their wings and rake her mind to show that she can be a fairy just like me and fly around the world together. I was home alone. As I looked at my artwork, I was proud of how the tailored look and how God that this is about being able to grow old and play around the world with her. I would like that around my mom suddenly appeared with my room and asked what was going on. I hid my nephew off of right her. My mom found out and I told her that I was studying as I listened. I to she believed me and left before she had to come back home for a few seconds to get something she forgot. When she left to pick up my dad from work, I could hear my daughters again. This was a punch of personal. This was a personal worry because if I told my mom about my crush, then she wouldn't support my dreams. I had to admit, I told my mom back in my chocolate and my ring session wasn't one of the reasons. That speaking of people, I went to school that Friday and watched Dan and her friends get a mysterious box from a thrift store. It was very for a way and I couldn't tell if one of them stole or went for it. So they presumably got the offering one of them up. I've never been to that thrift shop. A few hours later, I watched my crush and then other two girls sit on the same bench, but when I opened the box, the box was glowing. And the girls were shocked by what was happening to them, the light was so bright that I didn't see precisely what happened. They took them before they disappeared into midair. Then I thought that the mysteries of my crush and her friends shall be one of the unexplored skins of the universe. This ended up like a plain and new for first day of school that people have known in this. I have Miss my future girlfriend, I hope she returns to Earth while safe. It has been six months and I felt like she would return by the time I had to leave the school to transit into high school. Suddenly I spotted a blast of light which came from a roof full of traffic and was in. She ended up with a family of rugs on top of a car hub. I wondered why Lynn entered and not her friends until I watched her run away from that situation and turned in a direction. She ran into her suburb to the house where I didn't know she left. She knocked on the door and I watched her parents greet her after wondering what happened to her while she left. My heart was warmer than the light of day when that was happening. I met her. She still remembered me as the boy that he taught to back in school and introduced me to her new friends who looked like him. Fabings, I greeted her, but she then realized something. Wait, I had to call my parents to see if you can visit my house today with my other friends. Let me get my phone. I was concerned. Why would she friends on me? I thought we see each other as more than just best friends, I thought to myself. But on the other hand, she seems bright and innocent because she served out the journey to an alternate universe for three months, so I'll just have to wait until it's the appropriate time. When I was introduced to her parents, I'll never forget the fact that she still see me as a friend. Every time I was with her, I had the secret air to wait for the time to set her like him. I can watch a girl fall for me for the first time. I know that we're still in middle school, and I couldn't resist the fact that it is always my fault for me to be a Luciferian to say, that's, if anything wrong happens, to Back to the story of Zerk and his optimism that she shared with her parents and friends from either her school or the project mention that I've never been to. This was the first time I've ever had the chance to hang out at some no, that's... The next day, I watched and walked from school home as her internments and her friends were waiting for her. That day was my lucky day because summer vacation was starting in a few days and I couldn't wait to see him. But I wouldn't be able to because Vic hadn't prevented us from going to school. At time was barely and I was looking at me. So I managed to spread my wings to whippy place. I hid my coat inside my backpack. I followed in without getting cash, which led me to figure out that this was right to the defender. I didn't know who Sprig was the one and brought her frog friend to hot air bomb rides and learned more about any interdimensional friend as they talked about themselves in the hot air bomb ride. When I was lying to follow, I was never cat and people didn't slot with my wings open in front of the open space. I wanted to sit on top of the hot air bomb to raise my wings a little bit before landing. 
the higher bound when it's Zeppelin and an inspired one of the higher bound is a throttle. It planted. I sailed across the sky going and landed on top of my house without getting caught as I wore my coat over my wings before I knew. It was sunset and I wonder why my parents Mary cute Mitchell left the key inside the key hole until I tried to pine yon jaw by jaw 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 jaw. After entering, I had a notification from my son and found a text from my dad which read, All right, Trump, we would like you to come with us, but despite you having your last week of school, we are celebrating our wedding anniversary to restore the calls I do, so we will come back home with leftovers for you to eat for dinner. I wanted to rap play, but I did want to let my parents and I come out about their wedding and never say for the first time, ta ta ta. So just that's it, okay. And it came that I got my parents' message. I realized that they went to a restaurant that has the same Logan brand as the Fat Man that had his parents on back at their homes. I kept going and prevented myself from offering a friend, 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 friend. I at least managed to continue with my doubles events after I realized that some people can accuse my secrets about my feelings for him. Like I said earlier, I saw him as my brother Dale, my cross for sure. I locked my room and nearly blasted some old sons and pretended that he was there with me. Suddenly, I hide a husband which sounded like somebody threw a metal gun down a gigantic popo. I looked outside and spotted a prop robot that came from a different dimension. I followed the sound until I encountered him with low and good better about secret agent. Watch the old pep rattle, rattle from the ground and seemed to enjoy it. I figured out that she couldn't win this all by herself, so he attempted to reveal a magic to blast the robot into peace. As I felt my powers, my hair became a blaze in the rank and fought like a wind, and my ears just turned to rank and... My troll form contrasted, and his blue pop form. That's blue and earned match well together. The battle ended, but I watched it to like a tapo, watch every besides, and here finally, and spread leaves this thing. She picked up the remains and brought them home, dribbled the robot, and kept it as a brain. That wasn't entirely so, but at least I managed to get it to some action. I flew back in my house without getting spots of my, my parents because this wasn't ever my better yet, but I saw the greatest potential events of event of event and saw my parents about to come home. When I flew straight to my room, my parents carrying rockers without flying gave me the time to fix my hair and remove any signs of using my flowers, such as my wings not being covered underneath my clothes. I changed in my pajamas and sprayed water and comb around my hair to make it look like I showered before I was ready to go to bed right after I finished. My parents rang the doorbell and I opened it as I ran downstairs and relaxed my face. Hello, I draw light. How are you doing? They asked. I hit the fact that I helped my crush win a battle against a bunch of corrupt robots without her seeing my true form, so instead I totally thought of a realistic response. I was about to sleep, I answered. My pants believed me as always. I went back to my bedroom and fell asleep, wondering if I noticed my signs about my feelings for her. As I looked like I was asleep, I was imagining what I thought would happen the next time I see her again. After knowing about the fate that she obtained since she returned to Earth, I would like to see her as a fairy. I wasn't sure if her fraud friends had those powers to aside from handmade weapons, but on top of that, I still see her as a lovable team that rings a friend, friend, friend. After summer vacation and the Christmas holiday, I wanted to play into my room to see if Ben was still there and for him. Natalie, my sketches were seen. I break my dad as he peeked his hand underneath my bed and pulled out my notebook of doubles. Oh, I trust the fans anyone. What the heck did you just draw? He spelled dad. He was free as for some reason. My drawings were always in that sense, even up to this day. So I didn't understand how he got my drawings and why he felt like a fish. I did I to stop lying to my parents' face and tell the truth about I can explain that rollings don't look that bad, I cried. My dad shoved my drawing onto my face and asked, Who is this? Why are you drawing strangers without my permission? You don't know her. I tried to hold back my fear. That I don't want to break it to you, but she's not stranger. Her name is Energy. Some girl bought him clothes within my school. I answered nervous like him and glowed at me with a side. Thank you. I'll go. If you are in love with her, then I'd have to tell you that you are not supposed to date girls until you were 18. You were still 14 for crying out loud. Hey, Robert. 
He then pulled out that one drawing that took up most of the space of a page and ripped the rest of my drawings into shreds. Then I followed him. I could tell by his concentration that he was looking for intapasary thought with her about that. I never wanted any of about my feelings for some I fell in love with. I chased after him and tried to convince him to stop it. Dad, why are you like about in your magic? I ask as he flexed his fingers to stun up his fire powers, which are more advanced than mine. I just want to talk to her. His, uh, Darren and Kali, he still activated his magical powers while flying even though he said that he wanted to talk to her. He thought that and forced me to love her even though I was the one who so hard to do it. This is Don't understand. You're right before we have to go here. Don't tell me. You don't understand. Don't tell any man I even with that girl in that drawing or in it. We arrived at Annie's house, but it was empty when my dad kept her off the dope. But, uh, you don't understand. Don't tell any man I knew with that girl in that drawing or in it. We arrived at Annie's house, but it was empty when my dad kept her off the top. Where is it you were talking about? I just wanted to tell her something. He asked me. As he searched the house, I snuck away and flew away as I heard a sound. I recognized the back of her parents' heads. So I followed it to see where it was going. I followed her to some laboratory with a boy haired scientist who I had never met before. I snuck through the fence as I spotted it from the outside of the building and jumped up there without getting caught. As I was in the fence, I followed in his voice and headed to a room with a matching which looked like a time matching scene in Melbourne. Then. And his interdimensional friend Sprig and the other two were around her sudden. My dad was calm and her and was never silenced, especially when on some aeroplane mod. And his friends look around, wondering where this monster came from, and then look at the blood and Sanctus. Something that she was the one being told and not me, so I lowered my volume and texted my dad this message. Dad, I'm back at home and I'm doing my homework. I sent the message and placed my phone back in my pocket. I heard the similar notes that I have on my parents is their superpowers. It was in. Dad, um. She is the same powers that made her hair ray as blow blue and managed to deflect the same belt secret again, surrounded by other doors. The vents only gave me limited space for me to see what was going on down there. I will watch how the agents toppled onto the floor into Lager Pike and I brought that and flew through the portal with an intelligent was. Since then, my phone has lost signal. My cars still work there, but I never got the chance to use them for stopping someone. I managed to sneak in, but Anne and her blood friend Zasa never noticed me, but what they saw from me is how I wanted to play Chris this game. So Anne and her human friends never noticed me as a fairy. Remembering this makes me relive because I was never allowed to show my three from in front of humans in this game. But there was a valid reason based on what my parents uh You'll see as a child, I spotted a bunch of butchers who wanted to eradicate creatures like us fairies to get extinct. Even though my parents warned me about this, I wouldn't forget about how the butchers kidnapped. But my old friend from the fairy village and some women inside a cave. When the butchers left, I managed to enter and freed the two people who were caught. I watched the merman still transform into human legs and dogging friends and learned that he was the only one who caught to that. I asked him for his address and told it to my old friends before they decided to carry the merman to where he lived before one of the punchers went back and spotted me. This was a battle between me with someone breaking up on the fight, but the puncher gave up and left. I had my clothes ripped, hats around my face or arms, and my horns got broken on it, so I took my watching, lots of lights of my pet, pet, so I changed my hair still, like I want today, to cover my broken horns with a bandage to wrap my arms and then I traded the blading nuts off my face before I left and went back to my parents. My parents were scared or worried that I told them that I was fine and everything worked out well, when they removed their horns off their heads before moving to the United States. Back to where I left, I desperately wanted to hug Anne and make it a surprise. And I knew she was busy, so kept it to one yacht to let you to let you bite you to bite you bite you to bite you. Back to where I left, I desperately wanted to hug Anne and make it a surprise. And I knew she was busy, so kept it to one I was intrigued by how this world was different from the real one, so I went with the flow and occurred the place. Speaking of differences, I realized that Marcia was missing, so I went back to where I saw and it's us. But they were gone. I heard footsteps and followed them. These footsteps lead me to battle with Annie's and Sassy's interdimensional friends and a couple of none of what I
They were confronting Marcy wearing an Owen costume working with a goblin that with her more battle begin and I use my front powers as and use her powers along with her friends every the intensity was too painful to bear, but this reminded me of the time I had to fight with a butcher against Barry. So I took a deep breath after remembering that and then distracted her a bit more before I cut the wires connected to her helmet with some of my magic. Nobody noticed me using my powers for battle, but they saw his success and their dimensional friend Hellhammer near and made it look like it was them who freed Marky from the hell. Few months later, and then all of her friends at this a red moon with an eight and were her mom to find his that message as they went to a temple to and watch them gather against to get superpowers. And was way more powerful than when she really uses those powers that what I didn't know is that success and Marty had them too. And was way more powerful than when she really uses those powers that what I didn't know is that success and Marty had them too. And was way more powerful. As they transformed, they flipped to the sky, crack under the red moon with an able from crashing. I followed the fraud robots, which somehow helped the tray. And it lights of lights on my mind to looking at blood from them from the top. I didn't pay attention to the fact that March and Sasha's powers were fading away, and I was going and for all of Zess and Marcy's powers to fight us this battle all by herself. She ran in it brighter than the sun in the most stable moon. Had her head became green and she felt more tired. We all let it sap like from space and were grief about what happened to him. I thought it Zess and March and then I looked around as we walked and noticed that it was inside a wooden hut. Waking up as if she survived the project or that turned her to dust. I was confused about how she ended up there, but maybe it was a mystery. All those aside, I watched Dan and her friends unleash the portal back to the human world after their tragic obvious to their friends that they made in that dimension. And fears were falling from their faces. They said those goddess would convince me to feel some more feelings as Anna walked through the portal right before and then her friends. <laughs> so they get up in front of my home and I was sure that they, they, they and her friends ended up at their homes to consider and that I couldn't find them anymore as we entered on Roth at the same time. I rang my house doorbell and waited. Suddenly, I felt a breeze, I knew it turned around. It was both of my parents, my mom, Mitchell, stopped my dad from saying something and ran close to me as if she was about to hold back her tears. Kelly, Drew, we were so scared. We thought that you harmed yourself. Why did you leave our lives? We had to treat this town like a spy novel just to find you when you were out here in public without your human disguise. My mom said, this time I get finally got the chance to talk to my mom. My mom is here without being interrupted. I thought you were doing your homework, but you were out here in the open. Why? Also, you were supposed to keep your human disguise while out of home. You were lucky that nobody is out there. My dad snapped, we walked inside, and my mom slammed the door but her. She reminded my dad to find us this conversation himself as she went upstairs. Oh, I drunk. What were you thinking? My dad ran in and was trembling deep inside, so I simplified what happened earlier and showed them what I witnessed with a pen and a piece of paper. The matches were convincing thanks to my gold memory, but my parents still didn't believe them in it. Just then, I received a notification which read and would like to share a pot and then a thought of a group of frauds in hum and clothes walk up hill. I like to say that it was an accident after having a day. But I kept the pot in anyway. I sent that thought to my parents through all their messages and they doubted that it was real. Until my mom's and then it's that the pot wasn't that it did. You were right all along. You witnessed some danger from an alternate dimension of amphibians and you saved them. I'm sorry I didn't know until now, darling. My mom confessed my dad noticed similar details too, so he also believed them and went to that alternate dimension and watching and cutting out what that dimension with her helmet friends was worthwhile. I will never forget her development along with all the problems. <laughs> I see her as a stronger warrior who can save me as much as herself and someone who can still go through anything without a sign of giving up. I know that in giving them a this a friend, 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 But I desperately wanted to express my feelings to her and I didn't know how to do so without being rejected by her. 
I finally saw you again on the first day of the school toss. I never wanted to take this romantic experience with ours for granted. Like how I noticed a school poster which reads in games all for Mo, I was so thrilled to Jenna for most school dance for the first time and where the mods don't get to compress both and then the other classmates. I found that there wouldn't be any homework until the day after the fall for Mo, so I got to get enough reading for at least three years to prepare for that event. This also means that I got to dance with the girl of my dreams. When I arrived, home, I asked my parents to help me prepare for the fall for Mo. My agreed that my dad didn't, and he asked me if he could talk to me in private and send me to walk in closet. I will never let you go to the formal dance. He protested. I asked myself why Joe remembered that he found out about the fact that I left him right when we were finding him. If that's about what happened, Bunker, I went to another dimension without your permission, and then I died. I, 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 I admit it, he shook his head and replied. Boss, you are not suited for this social gathering. You might be exposed to a bunch of teens that you are never familiar with. So there's a high likelihood that you are not supposed to join the fall. My dad informed me. Turns out that the only reason that my dad never let me go to the fall from was about safety. I saw the thought of the poster and point out the detail that all students are supposed to be there in my dad read it. He liked me and said and ran out to talk to mom. I heard him say. Holly, I changed my mind. I have to prepare a song to go to the fall formal, similar to prom. Everyone in his class should be there and there will be a competition of who will win a pride the end. My dad announced! My mom rushed with energy right before I opened the closet door to see what was going on. I grabbed a bunch of colorful tux dolls on clothing hangers. A few days later, during the fall from all I got to the party room. Set in the school and it came in confined and you know what's the only within a crowd of Americans. But I grabbed a cup of sun and drank it by the first of the third and the rock of light to light. Look how I found it with the most beautiful dress that glows in the dark and pull her makeup that commence her face. I was speechless. By the sight of her best floor, my face felt as warm as how I feel near the sunshine. And I caught Mo aside from trying not to help prevent the lake from this feeling around her. She was confused as she knew this that I should have still as a sad and when that resort there was a dance floor there, but every in the fall from a dance on the gray spot. I had a glimpse of some kids waiting for a slow dance for them to dance together and I tried to point it out and that she insisted and persuaded me to join her dance the hip hop boys and I, 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 I. Fortunately, the most excitedly changed to a piece of slow and relaxing dance music, which laid everyone in the room to find a random classmate next to them and dance. I was lucky that I chose me to dance with half of all the boys there. This felt like those fairy tales that I've read about are all coming true and my life is finally going together after any sort of a month which separates us together. This made me so that I thought that one day I can introduce them to my parents and see if she trusts them almost as much as her parents. Unfortunately, and dance attempted that on the same day as the fall from all because it ended with who would be the fall from all king or rings and and then I didn't win that award, but that's still okay because at least I was still together with her. When I returned home from the fall from my texted and if she could come to my house this weekend and she answered yes, so I flew across this case and dashed into my room to clean it before my parents came to my room. And then I didn't win that award in the fall room, but that's still okay because at least I was still together with her anyways as my parents walked up the stairs and went inside my room. They both check if I was asleep. They saw me lay down on my bed with a blanket covering me aside from my face. Before my dad greeted me good night, I thanked him so much. I thought, Dad, can I invite a friend of mine from my school to hang out with me at my house this Friday, please? My dad hesitated and implied. Let me think about it for tomorrow. This may be answer if he wanted to say yes or no, so I would have to find out about it myself. Speaking of which, he never knew that and is my middle school crush. Not just a friend. A few days later, and you finally visit my house for a day and ask me a ton of questions about my personal life. I answered all of them besides the one about my parents. Relationship with my family is decent, but answering the questions about any other life to me sounds too personal, and I was afraid that any young overhearing this could stop me to kidnap me, so I answered these questions in an unacceptable way. She smiled in a way that I get whenever I thought about her and I was so concerned that she wouldn't be interested in my mom or dad and not in me as how I wanted. So I called my parents. Just them to pick me and end up from school.
They showed up with a car that they brought for a week to hide the fact that they just fly there with their wings. Just them to pick me and end up. And then I went to the back seat with both of her back hacks between us. I knelt and stared at my dad with all you with a swan smile on her face. I was curious as to why she was interested in my dad more than me. No realized that my dad will always look like the hotter version of me. It was sick, it was some that I wasn't trying hard enough for him to pay attention to me, not the third boy. Deep down, I feel someone that I always trust the most, maybe not trust the upcoming move of my life by catching all of his attention. But I never wanted to caress or vent about it because I have to not underestimate any if I want them to fall in love with me. We got out the car and entered home. We introduced ourselves as we took off our shoes. But for entering my house, I still didn't fall because I mean, not even on the car all decorations of my car. She only focused it's out time red, 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 red. She only focused on my dad as if she prefers calling me by men rather than scrawny boys like I thought this was just a joke from her. So the mix right, Mr. Ern. Thank you, right? Are you staring at my dad? Your dad? I didn't know about this. I thought you only live with your mom and he's your attractive cousin. Your dad, I- I responded, after all those guys together, including this formal school event, she still didn't know this man chose someone more attractive than me, maybe it was some- Like how she was suspicious of the fact that I'm heading my three wings in magic and looked like I'm lying to the floor for love of my life, so it was understandable why he fell for my dad. This feeling of butterflies in my stomach gradually changed the thorns on my heart. This nearly forced my yes to shed a tear in front of my lady as I had to seem as strong as how she begins to start to decline. I challenged myself to just maybe bust up as much as my dad's age when he changed into skin tight outfit. That still covers my wings and still saw my dad the more attractive than me. Deep down, I was insecure about my scrawny body and felt like I didn't seem unfair as if I got the worst chance of love my parents rather than the best. Even now, I seem to not mind about this. I didn't enjoy seeing and choose some more attractive than me, so I ran up from my room without getting caught after shoring and cried my soul if my dad didn't know this me because he was too bossy, but my mom did. She walked upstairs and stopped all of a sudden to listen to me as I sold myself in front of my mare in my room. What were you thinking? How did you not know that your dad is considered more attractive according to him if it weren't for the muscles or the deep voice? Yes, your family are very so men up and private and from falling for a middle-aged married man by making her talk to you. And you want me and Later on, I calmed down and then stuffed my head on my bed and cried. My mom finally entered to comfort me. I have something to tell you that I hope can cheer you up. She reminded me I turned to her and wiped my tears. Did you listen to everything I said to myself? I hey. She nodded and then I responded. It's alright that I just wanted help. I have feelings for an and she didn't fall for me, but rather for someone. It's so what I do? It's fun. You don't have to be jealous of your father just because he makes women fall for him easily. As you can remember when I showed you this photo, but if someone you love doesn't love you back, it's their loss. I'm a mess, She left the room and I looked at the body she gave to me. This insecurity cannot let go of me. Maybe she did fall for my dad rather than me, but this might be just my son. During dinner time, I was the first one to be excused and left the table. I texted him to go to the terrace after she was excused to leave the table. I from it climbed up three floors until reached the terrace and followed me up to the head. I wondered why she followed me. I had an expensive floor by me as I waited for her to listen to me. Stefan, where are we both here? Out in the open air. At last, I was blessing because I desperately wanted to say something to her that expresses my feelings for her. I attempted to give her my flower and I lost it in front of me and realized that a bird had stolen it. It was enough for distance and I couldn't just simply jump off and expect to serve up without flying. So I have no other choice but to set the floor from being left. When I climbed all the building and managed to catch my floor, I turned around to see what is happening. Turn back and then I can she was hanging up a tree after leaning too forward from the terrace edge because she wanted to watch me catch the floor for her. I thought she can zap herself, but the tree branch was about to snap and the fall was too far for anyone to survive, so I had another chills but to fly there to zap her. Then I released my wings by ripping off the back of my claws and leaped high back that I ate. That's all when I start flying. Even though it felt like I'm breaking too much of my parents' boundaries. At least it was felt like I ate. As I cut her, I flew in and the balcony and placed her before I ran inside my parents' room and followed me and ran to the dining room. When we went there, I were gone and ran outside to the front yard. I heard 
footsteps and grab the back binder that helps me hide my wings inside of my clothes. I grab my clothes and fight my hand for the sound of the footsteps amplified. My parents arrived and didn't suspect anything else but the screaming that they heard. I heard screaming from men coming from the closest tree to her house. I was tired of bottling up the truck, so confess, Mom, that I have a confession for me. When I sat and I mailed my wings to play up there and catch her, I never wanted to watch her lose her life in front of me, but now at the same time, I had to stab her without lots of effort ever. So please listen to me, I'm telling you that I'm sorry that I am my great home to her. This girl on my right, the person I said, is the girl I'm in love with. My parents were speechless, surprised that their only son fell in love after getting to know him since meeting her. I wasn't surprised as he remembered the totals that I cried, so he insisted and walked up to me. We accept the fact you have a crush on someone you met since you arrived here, but there are some limits. You shall preserve yourself until you are married. Anyways, speaking of knowing something, I explained how I was involved in some battle against some broad-shaped robots with my fire magic before the fall from a... She was surprised that I was born a fairy disgust as a human to blend in with society and she was interested in how my childhood differs from hers. Wow, Stefan. I didn't know you were in love with me. This confession makes me feel flattered. I didn't expect her to fall in love with me. Turns out that these swatting expressions towards my dad were just acting just to mess with my feelings. Which is no for middle school girls to do so. Little did she know that I've been watching her every step and have been in love with her since I first met her. I know everything about her and all the reasons why we should be together for as long as we're alive. I help my parents support this relationship between me and them. Speaking of support, my parents actually support my choice of relationship and now we're still living in the state. In this year of 2022, and still loves me and we hope that we're going to proper day and become more friend and girlfriend by 18 years old. I hope that we'll go through anything together and we get married. I hope my plan to grow a welcome reason will be together with me forever and ever.